when people say that you got to be baptized in the name of Jesus as in being immersed in water, I think they show the depth of their belief because I believe God left it to be almost ambiguous from our perspective when clearly he came to give us something more substantive than circumcision because it says that he is the reality of the shadows that were portrayed in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant. And so if he is the reality to be immersed in his name, can't have anything to do with water because to be immersed in his name in a substantive sense is to be immersed in the meaning of his name. So Christ Jesus being a title followed by the name would be the Messiah, Yahweh, is become salvation. Or even Jesus Christ, Yahweh, is become salvation in the Messiah to indicate the reality. So to be immersed in his name means that. And you can illustrate this by asking someone, do you believe that every single person who has ever dunked in water while the name of Jesus is spoken over them receives the Holy Spirit? the Holy Ghost and there's no way anyone could say that that's true but if you are immersed in the meaning of his name that is the baptism that is when you receive the Holy Spirit when you fully understand what that name means and you are immersed in it so I believe that God actually wrote the scriptures in a way so that people could still do what they always did they put their emphasis on their physical things and their circumcisions and he said in the old testament i don't desire the circumcision of your skin but of your heart so it's always a matter of the heart but the religious will focus on the physical things as though that proves what's going on in the heart and he allowed that to happen because he knows there's people that want him and there's people that want religion and because he is a gracious god he allows us to have whatever it is we want whether it's him or religion